here's the reality. No one really knows what's going to happen to the economy in 2023. Why is that? Well, they didn't get it right last year. Many people who pay attention to the closing bell each day thought inflation would be temporary. They were wrong. But that's not stopping Wall Street and top economists from making predictions again. It's not necessarily good news. Banks like Barclays and Bank of America are saying that a recession is going to happen. One reason, the Federal Reserve and its decision to not just raise interest rates to fight inflation, but raise them at the fastest clip in history. Generally speaking, interest rate hikes can reduce demand for services and goods, which can mean less revenue for businesses. That can lead to layoffs or hiring freezes, and in some cases, a recession. But interest rates are only one statistic. Take, for instance, a piggy bank. During the pandemic, Americans were putting a lot of their extra income into savings. That's a good thing. However, in the last several months, more Americans have broken into their piggy banks to get by. In fact, new analysis from J.P. Morgan shows that savings went from $1.9 trillion early last year to just $900 billion today. That means Americans spent $1 trillion from their savings last year. Declining savings is perceived by many economists as a red flag, since in order to stop draining the account, Americans typically just stop spending. Well, between savings going down and interest rates going up, there are certainly enough signs that you should be prepared. So what should you do and what should you expect from Congress? First off, don't expect much help from Washington. In recent times, Congress has passed stimulus packages to help the economy during recessions. They did that at the start of the pandemic, which was technically a recession. And they did that in 2008 during the Great Recession. However, many conservatives in the House of Representatives campaigned on less spending. A large stimulus package is not at the top of any conservative's agenda in the House right now. So how should you prepare your family for a possible recession? Well, financial experts suggest you reconstruct that piggy bank. Having savings can help during hard times. And keep an eye on your credit cards, too. If something is high interest, take steps to cut it up or, at the very least, reduce spending on it. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.